Foundations have generously donated a $100 gift card to, our to one of our participants tonight. So our first drawing is going to be for Steve's store, Crestview. Steve is with us tonight. And the winner is Nicole Gould. And then we'll pass your information on to Steve and then he'll send you the gift card. Congratulations. Awesome, oh, thank you, Tammy. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Steve, for your generous donation as well. Um, congratulations to our first drawing. Um, as I did want to mention, we are going to record this evening. Um, we record all our virtual equine coffee hours um, just to give maximum exposure to all our vendors, you guys, um, and the people that obviously were not able to join us this evening. So um, we do ask, you know, Zoom etiquette is to remain muted just so we don't get much feedback um, from what's going on. Um, and then, like I said, this will be recorded just to make everyone aware and we'll get posted to social media and our website and so on. So um, without further ado, since we did just do this drawing and Steve, if you're ready, we would love to allow you the opportunity to kind of take the floor and take it away. Yay. So congratulations, Nicole. Um, it'll be really nice to meet you since I've known you, I don't know how long. Um, <laughs> Um, but that's awesome. I actually have my phone set up here, as you can see. Yay, here I am. Um, but I can't figure out how to flip my screen around. Um, so, uh, there should be an arrow in one of the corners, probably, or on the toolbar in the bottom. I know you're an Android user, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. And now I've disappeared. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm back. Look it. So, anyways, I'm gonna mute up here. We cannot hear you on your phone, Steve. Okay. Then I'll figure that out later. But the first thing that I want to talk about is. Um, about Crestview is most people think that Crestview is open um, about 30 weekends a year, that we are only open during horse shows that are happening out the fairgrounds. And so to kind of help uh, dispel that rumor, Crestview is open 361 days a year here at the Ingham County Fairgrounds. Well, since you all know how to get here to show a horse, and maybe you've never left the indoor arena, of the other end of the fairgrounds. Well, all you do is you do a little 180 from the arena and you come all the way down to the other end of the fairgrounds and here is our cute little store. The tack shop is primarily filled with boots, shoes, show clothes, tack. Um, we try to keep everything inside the tack shop for uh, what you would use to show. Um, we do in the winter time kind of pull our show clothing out of the store uh, because we don't have a giant store here on the fairgrounds. And when we pull all that show clothing out, we bring in a lot of um, outerwear, work boots, rubber boots, really warm gloves. Um, one of my favorite new companies this year is from Rocky Mountain, um, who do gloves, mittens, hats, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and as much as I'd like to take a tour of this store, I'll do a tour from the outpost when I get over there. Um, but the one thing that I want to say tonight is you have four or five amazing stores who have joined you tonight. Tom's Western Store has been around since I was a little kid and even before then. The Wire Horse has been a great asset to the community. Cashman's has done amazing things uh, throughout um, as long as I've known them. They've done amazing things. And... If you don't come shop at Crestview, if you don't come shop at the Outpost, I'm begging you, and I'm, I'm begging you, go see Tom's Western Store, go see the Wire Horse, go see Cashman's. There are other stores in Michigan that need you really bad this year. And one thing that I wanna point out to everybody, and please share this with your friends. I've been to a lot of horse shows. I probably sit at more horse shows than most people would like to, <laughs> but one thing that I've never ever seen at the horse shows here in Mason, Shiawassee, 
or around the state is a banner from Amazon. I've never seen one. I've never seen a sponsorship banner from Amazon. I've never seen a sponsorship banner from some of these large online companies. This is the year that we all need you the most. Whatever they can do, I can do just as good. The Tylers can do just as good. Jenny at the Wire Horse can do just as good. I promise you that. And if they can't, then we don't deserve your business, but we can do it better. We can give you better service and pick a store in Michigan. If you're not close to me, if you're not close to any of us, if you're not close to Cashman's, it goes for their state too. We love their state too. <laughs> but please, it's so important to pick a state or pick a store in Michigan this year and shop with them for the last two months, the last month and a half. Um, we've got people that rely on us. We've got employees, we've got family. Um, the horse is killing me in that picture. I love it. <laughs> I feel like it's saying yes to everything that I say and that makes me feel good. Um, but that's my little tidbit from the tack shop tonight to let you guys know just how important that whatever I have in the store doesn't matter. Tom's Western store has Ariat boots. They have Twisted X shoes. They have these companies. Jenny at the Wire Horse has Twisted X and Ariat and Wrangler. And we've got what you need. We're about the best people you can find in the business. Just remember that we need you and please come visit us this year. That's me, Steve from Crestview. Awesome. Thank you so much, Steve. We'll let you run over to the outpost and we'll catch up. With you. <laughs> awesome. Well, we thank you. And like I said, we'll let you run over to the outpost and um, get set up over there. Um, Tammy, do we want to do another prize right now or do you want to watch one of the videos? Up to you. Thank you, Steve. Thanks. So our next $100 gift card winner is to Tom's Western Store in Oban. And the winner is Sarah Hall. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations, you guys. Um, like I said, what we're going to do right now is um, I am going to share my screen. Um, since Tom's um, kind of um, was our next raffle, we are going to present them. Um, what they did is they graciously prepared a video tour of their store. Like he said, maybe some of you guys have been there dozens, hundreds of times. Some of you have never maybe stepped foot inside of their store. Um, some of you may not have the opportunity to step foot in their store, unfortunately, this year, but at least you can see what they have to offer. Um, so in just a minute, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and you will be able to watch and listen a short tour of Tom's Western Store.
You guys, well, thank you so much. Like I said, that was just a short preview of what Tom's Western Store has to offer. We thank Tom's for their continued support of not only the Michigan Horse Council, um, but the Michigan um, Horse Expo for many, many years. Um, they're a staple in the equine community, so we thank them so much for their partnership and for being with us this evening. So, anything else, um, Tyler's would like to add to tonight? Well, I'd like to thank uh, Sarah because she's going to have fun shopping with that hundred dollars. <laughs> And uh, I'd like to thank Steve because Steve really puts it all out there. Um, we all work together. The other day, I called Wirehorse, I called Crestview, um, trying to find a customer product. And we all work together. And you know, that's a real blessing because we're kind of all a family out here working together. And uh, I'd like to thank my staff for putting that video together because you all know I didn't do that. <laughs> but thank you for having us. Certainly our pleasure. Well, like I said, we'll take a quick break. And Tammy, if you want to take it away, we can do another drawing if you're ready. Mm -hmm. So our next drawing is for the Wire Horse, and it's another $100 gift card. And our winner tonight is Mark Delaney. Congratulations, Mark.
Awesome. Thank you, Tammy. And like you said, um, each of these retailers will be responsible for getting in touch with you. Um, so Mark, you should be hearing from the Wire Horse for your $100 gift certificate. Um, Steve, I see, are you back in your, you are ready? Like I said, I keep you if you're ready. You'll just need to unmute yourself. I unmuted myself. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, you can hear me? Yeah. Everybody can hear me? You're good to go, sir. That's awesome. So you guys, um, everybody knows that one thing that I love is a sale. Um, but the problem is, is that when your store is 1,800 square feet and 400 square feet of that is office and bathrooms, um, it's hard to fit little sale merchandise in there. So about a year ago, I opened a little store called The Outpost. And within the first year, we outgrew it so fast that by month number 12, people kind of had to shimmy side to side to get in. So I moved to a new store here in Mason. It's literally a mile from the tax shop. And this is my, my, sale, my sale extravaganza place and I love it. Um, so I'm gonna flip this around just a little bit. And we moved into a 5,000 square foot building that used to be a laundromat. And what we do is we buy closeouts from all sorts of companies, from Ariat, Twisted X, Columbia, Nautica. As you can see, I have a thing for men's button up shirts. Um, there's probably five or 600 of them. Uh, we're still kind of getting things set up. Um, a huge buyout from Tory Leather Belts, a bunch of leather purses. Um, we picked up a new line that is not a closeout item, but it's something I couldn't fit in the store um, called Burn, which is work apparel. And what I love about Burn is they make women's clothing up to 4X and men's clothing up to 6X. And you can bet your butt I carry all of it um, because not everybody is a small, medium, and large. We did some huge closeouts from area on T-shirts. Um, coats, sweatshirts, cinch, cruel girl. Um, and right now we're just running a little deal. Um, you buy two, you get three more free. So five for the price of two. Um, another thing that I really love is jeans. <laughs> so we did a huge buyout from Cowgirl Tough, from Cinch, from Ariat. We got some work boots, more from Ariat, uh, Cruel Girl Jeans. This is my masterpiece. This is Dreamers and Schemers socks. There is 1,780 pairs of socks on that display. We got our little kids section, kids boots, Cowgirl hardware. But the thing is, is that the store might seem full, <laughs> but we also have huge back rooms now that are also filled with, I don't know if you can see down there. Da, 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 da. It's just a huge room filled with area, Twisted X. And then the other day a semi pulled up. Hold on, I'm gonna get a light. You guys, this is fun in the dark. A semi pulled up from Twisted X, and so we started filling rooms with overstock of Twisted X, some more Ariat, more Ariat. Uh, these are all boxes of Twisted X. These are my Black Friday specials, uh, which are, well, I guess you guys do get to see them. I haven't shown anybody else yet. This is my Black Friday specials from Cowgirl Tough. But overall, the store, that's the store. It's been a lot of fun. Um, let me flip me around. It's been a lot of fun doing this. And I know that in the next week, I'll have this 5,000 square feet filled up. But um, it's just been a lot of fun. And it's a mile from the fairgrounds. So you can come check out the tax shop. Come over here to the outpost. After you leave the outpost, you head north on 27 right up to Tom's. 
go to the go over by Shiawassee, go see Jenny, head straight down Michigan into the next border state, see Cashman's. Um, but all of them are great people to see. And thank you guys for visiting me at the outpost. Awesome, Steve. Thank you so much for taking the time to travel quick over there and spend time with us and support us. So thank you. Thank you. Um, next, like I said, Tammy, do we want to switch right over? We can visit Jenny at the wire horse or do you want to give, okay, perfect. So since we did the last drawing, we are going to visit Jenny over at the wire horse. So again, in just a minute, I'll share my screen and you guys will get a sneak peek of the wire horse with Jenny. Welcome to the Wire Horse. We're here to give you a quick tour of the store. Many of you guys have seen us at the Michigan uh, Horse Council's Horse Expo. We've been there for over 20 years, and since we're not going to have it this year, or in 2021, we're going to do um, some cool promotional videos and show you what our actual retail store looks like. So we've got Christmas briars. We've got a ton of area outerwear which we will try to hit at the end again to go over what we have. Lots of soft shell jackets and women's. We have tons of area jeans, tracks, all the newest styles, and they actually um, are making a new plus size, and some of them, and they go up to a 20 waist, or 22 waist even, I think. We have Briar horses in stock, which are a great Christmas gift or any gift for the horse lover. My particular favorite, Spotted Pony. We carry show clothes, hats, boots, jewelry, uh, Kimes jeans, Kimes sweatshirt, cinch, outerwear in men's and women's. This is particularly a women's jacket with a hood, soft shell. We have concealed carry women's jackets from Cinch and in men's. We have a lot of uh, helmets in stock. You can check them out on the website, uh, thewirehorse.com. We always have tons of uh, helmets at the expo. We stock a ton of boots. Uh, Justin, area, a new USA brand called Silverado work boot. Uh, Durango, Laredo, uh, Dan Post. Uh, we are also carrying Boggs, um, Luck Boots now, uh, Dingo. A lot of uh, cool wet winter boots from Area, Ovation, um, nice winter insulated riding boots, hunt boots, um, all our ladies' boots. We carry a ton of um, Ariat and Twisted X. Uh, we have the shoes, fat babies. And then we have a great selection of kids boots. And then we're just gonna take you on a quick walk around. Uh, we carry a lot of apparel. We feature Ariat and Cinch and Wrangler. Uh, a lot of Wrangler jeans also. So here's our, our apparel wall. Here's a whole rack of area outerwear. Great jackets. Kids jeans. Let's see, I'm gonna walk this way, sorry. Uh, kids tops. Here's a whole rack of area, or excuse me, Wrangler. Wrangler's jeans. Cinch outerwear for men. Great soft shell jacket. Uh, all kinds of area and Wrangler jeans. On this wall here, cinch pullovers. These are really nice for uh, winter and fall. Then we're gonna walk over to our attack area. Uh, we got rock and roll women's jeans, a whole rack of these. We sell lots of these. They're very cool fashion forward jeans. And then into our show area, winter riding breeches in stock at the Wire Horse. Uh, show apparel. 
And then we're coming in up to the saddles and the blankets. We have carry used blankets, or excuse me, used saddles and new saddles and tons of winter blankets. So some of the featured ones are Weather Beat Up. That's a cool Southwest pattern. Uh, we do have the otters in stock in a winter blanket and a fleece from Weather Beat Up. Uh, our whole line of wire horse. This is our own line of blankets that we make. We have 1,200 denier and 600 denier. These are 1,200, beautiful snowflake. We go up to a size 84. Uh, we also carry some horse winter blankets. Lots of tack and girths. We do have sheets and coolers, lots of those. And we also have dog blankets. We carry supplies, um, lots of saddles, new and used, and jewelry. Um, I think we'll go over and do a quick rundown of some of the area outerwear. Oh, and the, I forgot the Christmas stuff. So we always carry these cute Christmas items for your horse. We have Christmas horse halters, um, the cute uh, antler ears for your horse, uh, little fetlock boots, a blanket, and this is actually a hat that goes on your horse's head for Christmas. These are great for Christmas pictures. We have these all in stock at the Wire Horse. You can find these on our website too at thewirehorse.com. And let's go through some quick outerwear we have in stock. Awesome. So we are going to pause it there. And like I said, we're going to come back to her um, area special. Is Jenny on the call tonight? I've not seen her. Um, are you there, Jenny? Okay, perfect. I didn't know if I saw her hop on yet or if anyone's from the Wire Horse, but again, um, we thank Jenny and her team for putting this together. Jenny with the Wire Horse, they are another staple pillar of the equine industry in the state and out of the state. Um, been a vendor expo or expo vendor for many, many, many years um, is a key partner um, in the equine industry. So we thank everyone there. Um, and like I said, we'll come back to her little, her second part of the video toward the end of the night. Um, but Tammy, anything else you want to add? So our next drawing is from Cashman's, and I know we have Lisa Kylie on the call with us, who has that really wonderful festive horse. So we're going to do a drawing for a $100 gift card from Cashman's, and our winner is Carissa Harris. Congratulations, Carissa. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, Carissa. Um, like I said, they will be in touch with you how to get your information and all that good stuff. Um, like you said, I don't know if um, Lisa, you want to say anything before we kick off your video or do you want me to proceed with the Cashman video? Hi, thank you, Sasha. Um, not only do you have Lisa with the team here, but Brittany and we've got our fabulous holiday mascot as well. Um, I myself, Amanda Cashman, we just want to thank you folks from Michigan for all the business and support over the years and to give us this opportunity to share with the Michigan horse population. So um, we did put a video together. Yes, Steve, you are correct. That horse was shaking its head yes and excited <laughs> for all the benefits that everyone's offering. Um, if you're in the horse industry, it's a very, very small world, whether you're up in Michigan or here in Ohio, and we're grateful to have any of you as our customers. You're always welcome down to Ohio. Yes, our governor has us wearing masks as we're wearing tonight. We want everyone to be safe and healthy this holiday season, but if there's anything we can help with, we're here for you. Um, and Stephen, thank you so much for giving the shout out to us and the horse. Yes, the horse is definitely a so thank you for putting this together. Tammy, thank you for including us. Um, we're just grateful to be part of it. And we just hope anyone with a horse can benefit from, from what you folks are doing tonight. So thank you. And thank you for putting this together. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, the entire Cashman team and the mascot for joining us tonight. Um, like you said, we'll, we'll show their video and take a tour around Cashman's, which I personally have to say I've never been, one of the locations I've never been to yet is Cashman's. Um, so I thoroughly enjoyed this part. So I need, I myself need to come down to Cashman's as well. But, well, you're um, welcome anytime. <laughs> good. Well, I'll be sharing my screen yeah. shortly. Just a minute, you guys. Thank you.
know that people wear masks when they come out, but if they don't have one or they have a reason that, you know, they're not able to wear one, the walk up window has been really nice for us to still take care of our customers. Plus, the drive through has been open. Um, so this just helps so that they don't have to come inside. They're welcome to if they're wearing a mask, but this has made it really nice to still be able to take care of customers that, that do need our help. These are our cashmere and all-weather hay feeders. Awesome. Thank you again, Cashman's team. That was awesome production and video and tour of your very large and um, spread out inventory. So thank you for taking the time to show all of us that. Um, because like I said, many of us may have not had the opportunity to get down to Ohio yet um, or know what you guys specialize in. So thank you so much. Absolutely. And hey, hi, I'm Lisa. And I am from Michigan. So if you come down to Ohio to visit us, you'll see a friendly face that actually grew up there and has spent a lot of time up showing in Mason and things like that and growing up at the Expo Center. And if you ever get a chance to read Saddle Up or Horseman's Corral, you can catch some of our articles that are in there. I usually do those. So. Awesome. Thank you. Um, well, like I said, moving right along, we want to make sure to get this in within an hour of everyone's time. Um, Tammy, do we have another drawing before we move on to the next piece? We do. We have a $50 gift card from Windmill, and you will recognize Windmill. I don't know if Linda is still on here. She was on with us earlier, Linda Williams and her husband. So they set up at the expo. They do customized halters, leads, dog collars and leads. So a $50 gift card is going to Edna Money. Congratulations, Edna. Awesome, congratulations and thank you to Windmill Farms for their generous sponsorship of tonight um, and their gift to help people get kind of in the holiday shopping spirit. Um, so like I said, we've had the opportunity to tour all of our vendors. Um, at this point, we also wanted to promote our vendors in a special way to get the holiday season kicked off and also give you guys a thank you for attending tonight. Um, so once again, I'm going to share my screen, screen really quick, but it's not going to be a video. Um, by the generosity of our vendors, we wanted to give them a platform um, to give exclusive deals um, to you guys and give them a platform to put it on. So if you have not visited our website ever before, it's michiganhorsecouncil.com. You'll be taken to our homepage here, um, which is in the transition of actually going through a new kind of website. So it might look a little different in the next coming weeks, but same layout. Um, if you go to here where it says MHC updates and you click on exclusive holiday coupons, um, our vendors tonight were generous enough to provide everyone with some discounts to get the holiday season started. So if you go to this page, like I said, you will see coupons from each of our vendors. Um, like I said, we will get them up, like I said. So take a, take a moment, go in, look at what you're looking at for here. Um, and make said, just like Steve echoed so very nicely, support here, support Michigan, um, because the equine partners obviously across the country need it more than ever. Um, but our vendors here that have supported the equine industry for so many years 
um, are the ones that are the pillar. So thank you guys for contributing to this landing page. Um, like I said, we may see it growing over time. Next, we're gonna move into next segue of our plan that we've been moving into. I'm gonna turn the floor over to Ms. Robin Smith. She's our Expo um, Vendor Coordinator for many, many, many years, which she brings wealth of knowledge um, that I will never be able to comprehend. Um, and she's going to introduce something that we're going to move into next. So Robin, take it away. Oh, thank you, Sasha. Um, and thank you, Steve and Andrea and Jenny and Mrs. Tyler. You guys did a great job. Um, just to back up, when we had a vendor meeting um, with Steve and Jenny and Andrea and Mrs. Tyler, he, Steve was very informative. And he told us about one of the shows that had gotten canceled basically creating a Facebook page for those vendors. Now it wasn't for, it was like a month, continued a month after the show. So with, thank you, Steve. And with that idea, uh, and with the blessing of the horse council, we are in the process of creating a Michigan horse expo marketplace. And this will be hosted on the Michigan horse expo webpage or, um, Facebook page. And we are in the process of finalizing some details on that. And I will be sending out a letter to all our exhibitors, inviting them to be able to post videos, sales, activities they have on uh, nonprofit organizations. We able to keep promoting themselves uh, to the, you know, the, um, the, how many do we have on the Facebook that are? Um, how many Facebook likes? Yes. Oh, I think it was upwards of five or 6,000. Yes. So people, our vendors will still be able to have a presence um, through these, this time until we can have an expo again. So I'm very happy to be able to be a part of this and be able to, you know, make my behind the scenes con contribution uh, to the Horse Council and the Horse Expo. So watch for that. If you're not a friend, of uh, the Michigan Horse Expo Facebook page, please go and click like, and um, you'll be seeing a lot of vendors posting information on the next upcoming week. Awesome, thank you, Robin, for that exciting yeah. announcement. Like you said, we are going to spend the next couple of weeks. Um, the letter is gonna officially go out very soon to our vendors. We're gonna love, give them a little bit of a heads up to kind of get their um, meat and potato put on the page so you guys aren't showing up to an empty page. Um, and then we are gonna roll it out in hopes to, which we will be ready for Black Friday. Um, so we are encouraging all our vendors to get those Black Friday sales posted up and ready, um, and then be ready to interact with the customers that Wednesday leading into back Black Friday. So like I said, I'm echoing Robin, if you do not like the Michigan Horse Council page or the Expo page, like it today because that's where all communication is gonna be going through. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna turn it back over to Tammy really quick. Um, she's got one more drawing and some thank yous. So I do want to say thank you to everybody who helped and put together a video, live video or a recorded video. So thank you, Steve, Jenny, and Cashman's. It's been super fun. I love seeing it too, because we don't get to get out and see your stores all the time. Also on this call tonight, we have some other sponsors that have given donations throughout the week. And I want to thank you guys for sharing our Facebook post. So Daryl Nephew is with us from Circle Y. He gave out a head stall and reins. Greg Ellis is our Michigan area rep who our retailers know very well. Fantastic supporter of our Michigan equine industry. He gave out a pair of Ariad waterproof terrains. Lori Salisbury gave some equine youth books. Kendra Feeney from Kent gave out a nice Kent package. And Gail Johnson is with us tonight and gave a Beamer $200 gift card. And then our last drawing for tonight is for Classic Saddlery, and they cover mainly English dressage, and it is for $100, and our winner tonight, and I just want to tell you guys, not to hold you in suspense, but this is recorded, so you guys are here with us tonight, so you get a chance at the cool prizes. Your friends can go back and watch this video and see the store tours, but you were here tonight, and thank you and you got to win some cool stuff. 
So our last winner is Tracy Seifery. So congratulations, congratulations, Tracy. Awesome, congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, Tracy. Um, like you said, the vendors that graciously donated these items will be in touch with each winner. Um, so make sure to watch your emails, your text, phone numbers, however they'll get in contact with you. But like I said, if you do not get in contact with whoever you won the prize with, please reach out to the Michigan Horse Council or Tammy directly, um, and we'll be sure to get you your prize. Um, one last individual we need to thank for the entire structure of the November, all the key equine coffee hours is Miss Gail Johnson with Quarter Mood Farm and Beamer Independent Distributor. Um, she has graciously, uh, she was the partner and the brains kind of behind the idea of starting this platform. Um, so it came, uh, kind of came up in a conversation between me and her and she said, let's do this. So she graciously sponsored all the series that we'll be doing. Um, and I just have a quick message um, from Gail that she pre-recorded, and I know Gail is on the phone tonight, but I will play that quick message for you guys, um, and then we will see if Gail has any remarks. Hello, I'm Gail Johnson, independent Beamer distributor and co-owner of Quarter Moon Farm LLC with my husband, Tim Bunce. I'm proud to sponsor the Michigan Horse Council Equine Coffee Hour. Plan to join us again next month for another informative and educational program. Visit my website to set up a Beamer demonstration and obtain more information about this amazing technology. Awesome, and I'm not sure, Gail, are you available to say a few comments since you're on the call tonight? Hi everyone. I'm not sure you can hear me. My internet is unreliable, so that's why I pre-taped uh, a message. Thank you everyone for joining this evening. It's my great privilege uh, to be part of this uh, experiment, which is certainly turned into a wonderful opportunity for uh, the Michigan equine and uh, surrounding states owners and exhibitors and vendors to participate in. So we're looking forward to the months uh, to come and we appreciate all of your support as well. Thank you very much. It's my privilege to be a Beamer independent distributor and along with my husband, Tim Bunce, operate uh, Quarter Moon Farm LLC. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gail. It's a pleasure to work with you on this project as well. Um, before we get going, some closing words. We are going to join back on December 21st um, for our next um, coffee hour, which we are going to look into some knowledge about how to prepare for the winter. So we will bring in some veterinary mindsets, some educational mindsets um, on how to prepare for the winter as those winter months can be very difficult on all of our um, equine friends. So make sure to put that on your date. We'll send out reminders, of course. Um, also a reminder to make sure you have a membership with the Michigan Horse Council if you do not already. Um, you get a lot of additional perks and benefits um, that, like I said, at a very affordable cost. Um, and then obviously I know we have some youth leaders in the area. Scholarships are coming up very, very quick. Um, like I said, the Michigan Horse Council is very generous to sponsor many scholarships. So if you are a youth leader in the industry, please check out the website for the scholarship, share it, um, email it, um, and we will um, do that. If anyone wants to stay on and talk with any of our vendors, you are welcome to use this platform. Um, but like I said, other than that, have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us.